Our team coverage on this case continues in Athens, where Shockley worked as a professor at the University of Georgia. Chelsea Vinefor spent the day talking to friends and family of Marianne Shockley. Chelsea joins us live from Athens. Marianne Shockley was a mother and a friend to many people, but during her time at the University of Georgia, she impacted the lives of hundreds, maybe thousands of students. Four days after spring graduation, the University of Georgia campus is quiet. Students and staff are home for the summer, but when the fall semester begins, one person will be missing. She was by far the most personable professor I ever had. Early on Mother's Day, Marianne Shockley was allegedly murdered by her boyfriend, Marcus Lillard, at a Baldwin County home. Shockley was an entomology professor at UGA. She just had a passion for teaching. She was able to take kids who you know, normally wouldn't care about bugs or insects and didn't really care to be around them whatsoever, but made them passionate about them and how they affected our daily lives. Trip Arrowwood is a former student of so Shockley's and a founding member of the club she ran, the UGA Bug Dogs. She was so good about engaging her students. According to her LinkedIn page, Shockley taught at UGA for 17 years after also earning her master's and doctorate degrees in entomology in Athens. UGA spokesman Greg Trevor sent WMAZ a statement that read in part, on behalf of the university, I'd like to express our deepest sympathy to the family, students, and colleagues of Dr. Mary Ann Shockley. I've never met anyone that had one bad thing to say about her. Students say Shockley also ran a summer bug camp for Athens area kids and had two kids of her own who learned of her passing on Mother's Day. I can't put into words how much she'll be missed. Georgia and the community will be a little less joyful without her. I also talked to Shockley's ex-husband and another relative, but they said at this time they're still not ready to make a statement about her death. Reporting in Athens, Chelsea Byam for 13 WMAZ News. A family friend did start a GoFundMe for Shockley's children. We have linked to that fund online at 13WMAZ.com.